Hey everyone, we got this beautiful 520 Ranger in the driveway and no, it's not a new boat, it's not my boat. This is actually a customer's boat. So this customer was having some issues with their electronics setup and every time that they turned their engine over, um, the units would flicker, they'd go to sleep uh, and sometimes they would restart. This Solix 15 behind me at the dash was actually replaced due to the unit locking up because of low voltage issues. And that comes from the standard factory wiring that's put into these boats. Aside from those issues, um, the voltage at the console unit was about 10.5 volts. At the bow was about 12 volts. So at the bow it was close to what we want. At the console, it was very far from what we want. With, with that being said, this boat also had some issues with clarity with imaging so what we did to circumvent all those issues is we actually installed this radio world power harness this is a dedicated electronics harness that we ran through this boat this harness is built of marine grade components all heat shrinked uh, connections premium components and it's an eight gauge harness so to the console directly from the battery we have run a run of eight gauge that'll allow you to hook up two units at the console. And then we have a separate run to the bow of this boat, again, with eight gauge wire that actually powers a blue C fuse block. And this fuse block allows you to connect up to six accessories or units up front. So lots of room to grow. This boat only has a Solix 12 up front with Mega 360. So lots more room for future additions that we already talked about with the customer. With the harness, you're also getting a Blue C uh, battery switch to help isolate the, har the harness, turn your electronics on and off, and give them power with the switch, and an Anchor uh, jumper cable that'll be the lead from your battery to the switch so you can make that connection. So this boat is wrapped up. Uh, like I said, the voltage previously was 10.5 at the console, 12 at the bow. These units are now consistently getting 12.6, 12.7 volts on an AGM battery. And that's what you want for your units to be performing at their peak and your imaging to be clear and avoid some costly replacements due to low voltage. So this customer is ready to go for whatever tournaments, tournaments they want to fish or any fun fishing that they want to do. This boat is wrapped up and 